And welcome back to Hannity. New York's Democratic Governor Andrew Cuomo is well known for his dirty campaign tricks. And now his GOP opponent, Rob Astorino, is firing back with a new ad. Take a look. I'm not political. I'm a school teacher, but I'm also Rob Astorino's wife. And I have to speak out about the ugly and dishonest ads Governor Cuomo's been running. Governor, you've got to be kidding me. All summer and autumn long, my children have had to watch you throw mud at their father. But now, you've really gone too far for this mom and school teacher. Telling people my husband wants guns in classrooms. Guns in classrooms? You can't be serious. Your own consultant said you would do anything or say anything, including lie to win an election. But I had no idea. What you're doing is unforgivable. Joining me now is New York GOP gubernatorial candidate uh, Rob Astorino. Rob, um, it's been a pretty much a big part of the, the show tonight, and that is the tactics of Democrats, especially desperate Democrats in some of these states where they're battleground states. Why did you decide to go this route? Well, Sean, they, you should see what they've been playing all year long. $30 million in pure, harsh, negative ads, even the New York Times said have been false, scaring seniors, guns in school, I mean, just nonsense stuff. The race card, Al Sharpton has thrown out, Charlie Rangel, New York City Council members call me Bull Connor. This is the kind of gutter tactics that they play because Cuomo, I think, feels it slipping through his fingers, just like in 94 with his dad when he lost unexpectedly. Things are changing very quickly in this race. So Cuomo was under federal investigation for corruption by the U.S. attorney. The state is dead last in America in all the important categories. The growth rate in New York last year was 0.7 percent. People are leaving. Jobs are leaving. It's the highest tax in America. So Cuomo is running from all of that. And he was so scared he wouldn't even debate me. You know, Halloween is today, right? Well, guess what? He was seen yeah. in two costumes today, Cuomo. The cowardly lion, because he wouldn't debate me. And Pinocchio, because he's lied all day and all year about my record. You know... Look, I live in New York. He made comments yep. about conservatives not yep. being a part of New York, which I took very personally. Um, the question is, New York is just a liberal state. Now, I know that you've been able to get elected in a fairly Democratic county in Westchester, but it seems that New York likes the path that it's on, and that is that it's one of the highest tax states, most bureaucratic states, and that is the result of liberalism. And isn't that why so many people are leaving? Yeah, but the AARP no just came out with a study the other day. 70% of Long Islanders, 60% of New Yorkers aged 50 and above are likely to leave our state. Middle class is just being destroyed in New York. And now Cuomo is hitched on his wagon to build the Blasio and the radicalism of New York City. He's publicly made promises to go around the state with the de Blasio agenda and just raise taxes and spending. It'll make it even worse so New York has a choice here, just like in Westchester they did in 09 when I was running, and everyone said you can't possibly win. Westchester is a deep blue county, home of the Clintons, home of Cuomo, Hollywood elite, and they put me in because I said we're going to grow the economy, we're going to cut taxes, and that's what we did, and that's what we're promising. The, the Wall Street Journal, by the way, right. said that my plan was bold. It would make us the most competitive state in the Northeast by really and sharply reducing taxes getting the economy going again, and that's what New York needs. And we're closing this race quickly. Upstate New York is half the vote, Sean. New York City's expected to be a lower turnout. Plus, Cuomo has a lot of problems on his left, believe it or not, where Democrats are not endorsing him or voting well, for him. I, so it's the suburbs that are going to yeah. make the big difference, Long Island, Westchester, where I am, and we can win this race. It's going to be a huge win on Tuesday, a big statement. Gun owners have to come out to vote. Uh, you've got Common Core, which I'm running against. You've got a lot of big issues where people may not normally right. vote for Republican, but they will this time. We've got to uh, say goodbye. Thank you, Rob Astorino. We'll watch closely. Thanks, Four days to go. Thanks for being with us.